Drivers, start your engines! I'm just trying to get my mic set up here. One sec. Sorry, headset. Pace car rolls. You know what that means. We're moments away from green. Here we go. Mason Wood going to lead us here in Biker Necky. The green flag will come out. Great start by the 14. Down the carousel. Down an apex right here. Chloe Baker, great, a, a great jump over the four. Chloe is in second. Now she goes for the race lead. Down that zone right here. Down with a big turn. Big turn. Baker, oh, 14 spins, 14 just spin. He just spun out, Mason Wood, wow. Mason Wood just got loose, a big crash. Someone spun. Oh, someone is up in smoke. Oh man, Mason Wood has just spun from the lead. Oh, that was just a big breakdown for the 14. We gotta look back at that again. Yeah, he just spun out of nowhere and he was trying to focus on Baker but he didn't focus on his steering wheel and he lost it. Oh, it nearly gets turned. Wow. Caution's out and we have another car in trouble. It's Cody Hagen. Cody Hagen's in trouble. Oh, some oh, big crash. Ooh, it involves Tony Green and Austin LaPlante. Oh, in the 25, that is. Brandon Nichols and Abby Sachs might have gotten some damage too. Ooh. Ugly start to a race here at Biker Necky. But Chloe Baker racing back to the caution. Down the S's. O'Neill Balvin trying to have an opportunity here. John Arnott is third, and Emery is just Emery is fourth. Emery could have a chance to win today. Oh, Baker made it through. Chloe Baker leads. She made it through that one. Pit stops underway. Baker decided to pit. Philip Goldberg, though, stays out. We're going to go back to green with Philip Goldberg, the race leader. Couple more pit before the green, but Goldberg leads with the green flag waving. 15 to Jeffrey Finn, guy, great start off the carousel. Takes the race lead. Great move on Jeffrey Finn, guy. He just powered his way to the front, and he is the leader. Isaiah Bernash and, whoops. I didn't even click on something. I must have clicked on a key and just switched. Sorry about that, guys. Matt Johnson goes for fourth, and he's got it. Fourth place. But Isaiah Bernesh going to battle for fifth place. Joseph Shrigley. Look at him. Look at him go. He's going in the front and a battle for second. Pichu on the front on the S's right here. Oh, tight corner, and he got it. Tight corner there, and he clears the 18. Philip Goldberg. Finn Guy still leads. Pichu second, and Goldberg third. And these guys seven and eight, William Brock and Kyle Collins are on pair road, and they're stuck. Fetty McDowell is stuck too. Wow, that's not what they needed. Yikes.
Ben Guy in the 15 is the leader again, and now you see Matt Johnson, Joseph Shrigley battle for the fifth position. One of them trying to crack the top five. Johnson has it. Oh, Shrigley on the corner right here. Ooh, hopefully did, no one wants to get loose on that tight corner because that would be cause for trouble. Matt, now it's Luke Walker. Walker just moved over the 41. Nothing. And Shrigley had to back off. Luke Walker gets the position. Luke Walker got the position, and that is for fifth place. So he gained two spots already. Could this be a battle right here? Oh, Pichu. A little game ground there. Trying to gain a little bit, a half second behind Finn Guy. Never know what happens here in the corner, so Pichu's trying to do the best he can. There you see the eight of Eric, 88 of Eric Powers right here trying to crack the top 10. Matt Johnson dropping another position. Johnson's struggling right now, trying to stay alive in the chase for the championship. It's been a pretty so-so season for the one, but, well, he's trying to redeem himself. Powers has done pretty well. They had a win with Son Mason in the wheel. Now his father Eric is in the wheel, and now Eric's trying to give them their second win this season to lock them at that, that spot in the chase. Another battle with Shrigley and Luke Walker. Oh, battle for the race lead. Someone spun. Pichu leads. Someone just spun in the back. Pichu trying to lead. Caution. We're going to race it back. Finn Guy or Pichu? Finn Guy barely hangs on. I thought Pichu was going to have a threat, but Finn Guy hangs on. We just saw a crash in the back of the pack. Someone crashed. Who was it? Could have sworn. Oh. Oh. It was Eric Powers. Oh, it was Eric Powers, a tough break. He got turned by Lawler, Johnson, and the 26, Kalai, Benjamin Miles. Oh, they were running in the top 10. We talked about them earlier, and they ended up crashing. That brought out our second caution of the day. Caution's out, second time, and Finn Guy is the leader. Pichu will pit. He just chose to pit. Now these guys are out of the pit stall. Oh, Finn guy pitted. Now there's a little bit of confusion. Hopefully they don't... They can sort this out in time. They're not going to. Who's the leader? The idiot has just retired. The leader, they're gonna... Give it to... Bernash. They gave the lead to Isaiah Bernash. I don't know what was going on with the restart. Either the drivers didn't know where the pace car went, and then when they heard the pace car went on pit road, they just went green, or something. But wow, that's something I really well, that's that really needs to be fixed. But I don't know how to fix it because uh, I don't want to mess up the settings. Um, for the track to work, so I'm not really an expert in track track setup, so I and I, whatever, I just set it up the basics to I and I to make things realistic, but anything advanced, I'm no, I'm no expert in it. I'm no expert on that field. You see Collins and Brock were on pair road. You saw them, they were stuck on pair road, but they got out of it. Now they're going to make things a lot more hectic for these leaders. Bernash is keeping the lead. 27 is three laps down. That's Fetty McDowell. And one driver is out of the race. It's Eric Powers. Powers the only driver still out of the race so far. Eight to go. Bernash very lucky he has the race lead over Philip Goldberg. Shrigley is third and Luke Walker is fourth. Miles... Somehow, after even after getting involved in the wreck, 
is in fifth place. Really, really impressive. He made it through the second portion. Now he's running in the top five. Pichu is sixth. Lawler seventh. Bakery in a battle for ninth place as O'Neill Balvin is going to try to go by John Arnett. Balvin has the edge. He's in the grass. Arnett able to take advantage and Arnett keeps his ninth position. Where is where's Finn where's Finn guy? Running in 28th. Must have been a bad pit stop. He was running deep in the field. It must have been a bad pit stop. Luke Walker gonna try for third place over Joseph Shrigley. Could be good news for Philip Goldberg trying to close in. Shrigley's in the wall. Luke Walker. Able to keep it safe, but look at Shrigley go. Amazing run off that turn. Wow, Shrigley does a great job of making the pass work. Seven to go. And so far, lap traffic has not affected Burnash in the race lead. Goldberg's been able to get a little closer to him, but not quite. Now you see, well, Brock and Collins are the lap cars. Curtis is really slow. I'm not sure why they still have the 33 on the track. Curtis is very slow, and in fact, the leaders are approaching him very quickly. It's still, a, still green, but you gotta wonder when the right, when the time is right, when the, when they're gonna reach the 33, because they're going quickly. So they better be very careful when trying to get th go through. Seems like Burnett was trying to pass the eight, but did get enough momentum. Ooh, someone hit the wall. Ooh, Luke's in the wall. Just five laps to go in Biker Naki. It's been a crazy race. First it was like Baker leading, then Finn guy, and then now Goldberg. Speaking of Baker, she's going to crack the top ten. Trying to, actually, with the pass on Jacob Waller. She has got it. Great move. There you see another pass happening for sixth place. Miles and Peachy. No, for fifth place. And Miles gets fifth place. Miles is now fifth. Baker is now seventh. Running pretty good today here at Biker Necky. A good top 10 so far for those drivers. Now we see Collins in their front view. And this is going to... No, Curtis, I should say. This is going to be fun. Billy Goldberg has closed in on the 55. Got to work the time is right to make the pass. He's going to try. He's going to take a chance. Figures why not, because there's probably not going to be an opportunity to do so. Goldberg trying desperately to get the race lead. Now we have five laps to go. He tried to do so for the race lead. He can't get to him in time. It's not yet. Maybe down the carousel he could narrow down a bit. Now the 33 is holding up the pack. Looks like the 7 might go by, and the 7 does go by. Great job on the 7. William Brock able to go through the 33. Now Collins has to go through. He might try to get through on this long straightaway coming down, or a hard turn coming. Could be an advantage. Here comes the 55 and 18, trying to pass both drivers pretty tight. Goldberg, you trying to use it to his advantage. Got through. Wow, they were able to get through both cars. Goldberg having trouble passing through the eight of Collins. Caution's out with four to go, I think. Is the caution out? Yes, the caution's out. Four laps to go, and then we're going to set up a two-lap showdown. We're going to set up a two-lap dash to the finish. Probably the first time we've ended...
probably the first time we're going to have a two-lap dash here in Biker Necky. And the caution came out for Dylan Thoreau, and he went off the ground. He went off track. Oh, Jeffrey Finn guy hit the wall, and he spun out Dylan Thoreau into the gra into the sand. That's what brought out our third caution of the day. Now we'll see if these drivers will pit under yellow and set up an interesting finish here at Biker Necky. Bernash keeps the lead. They're going to stay out. They're going to hope for the chance to win it. Bernash has the advantage of a lap car in between of Goldberg, so we'll see how that'll work out. Green flag again. Look at Collins trying to get through the 55. Goldberg going to have to lay off back a little bit. Trying to let the eight pass and maybe gonna let them, probably gonna let the eight trying to hold up the 55 and hopefully Goldberg will have his chance. If he does have a chance, if he ever gets a chance. And so the eight has passed by. Bernash has decided to let him go and just focus on him and the 18. Joseph Shrigley running in second. Whoa, Baker! A little high there. A couple drivers pitting. Here we go. This is going to be a battle. Goldberg on the bottom. 55 holds up by the number 8. Down the line. Goldberg spins. He spun with the 8. He got in the way of the 8 machine and he turned. He got turned. Is the caution out? Yes. Race is over. Isaiah Bernesh might have just got this race. Wow, what a finish. Philip Goldberg was going to go for the race lead, but he got turned by Kyle Collins. Oh, another spin in, in the front. Desiree Boyle's I think. Oh, trying to use it to his advantage, and Collins got right up to his face. And Goldberg spins. That's a tough break. But it wasn't over yet. Oh, Pasco just spun out Desiree Boyle's. Are you kidding me? Got him. Kidding. Man, Collins was on a reign of terror at the end of the race to bring out the final caution of the day. That's just an unbelievable finish. Final corner, will Burnesh stay out? He will! Coming off the final turn, Isaiah Burnesh is going to win at Latvia. And La Latvia. Isaiah Burnesh is back in victory lane in the 55 Toyota machine. MWR, a huge victory, a huge boost for them for the team here in the Pomon Cup Series. Isaiah Bernesh, your winner from Biker Necky. The 18th race of the 18th season is in the books. Shrigley was second, Luke Walker third, Miles and Lawler in the top five. And those are the rest of the results. And here is what happened below. There you see a couple retirees, Fitzwater, PowerQuest, Casey, Johnson Powers retired from the race. 30 drivers did finish on the lead lap, though, so that's not bad. So anyway, Isaiah Bernesh, your winner from Latvia. Here in Biker Necky, Bernesh scores again for...